fans, the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is a cool circumstance. Ryan Alden. Bonatti brings the ball forward. Can you feel that? Do you see that? Okay, guys, so just for curiosity's sake, just for asking, which fan are you? Are you a PES fan or a FIFA fan? I think I, I prefer PES. I think FIFA looks more toyish. And some people will argue that. So, which of them are you? Just leave it in the comment section. Let me know my PES guys and the FIFA guys. So. What's up, lovely people? We are here once again. How in a day? Um, I'm going to be making this one very quick because I'm actually um, busy at the... I have um, a project I'm handling, but there was this guy that said... Um, his name is Anthem Beats. Yes, I got the name correct. He, he DM'd me on Instagram and he said he's been watching my YouTube tutorials. And a lot of people, a lot of you guys have been DMing me and telling me how helpful my tutorials are. So it's my pleasure. So he said, Anthem Beat said I should help because there was a tutorial I did on how to master. I think I, it should be on, maybe you should watch it later if you've not seen it on, I'll put it on, on a card on top of the screen. Then I used, I, I was talking about using analyzers and uh, the analyzer I use most most of the time is um, tonal balance control. That was one of the analyzers I use. Sometimes I use two analyzers at the same time to help you to s analyze visually, to see visually what, how your song is balancing with reference to other professional sounds. So, so what he asked me is to, um, because the way I use, the way I use my tonal balance um, control, you can do many things with it. So he said I should make a tutorial to show him how I could create folders or on um on my tonal balance so let's just head to the system and i will show you how powerful and how you can use the tonal balance for your mastering yeah okay so this is um the tonal balance control and if you if you could watch closely i i have um if you open here you see if maybe you you, you want to master a um a bass heavy um kind of song this is um the analyzer you use you see it adjusts this band adjusts to like the low band the low mid the high mid and the highs now what what is going to happen if you play your sound you will see lines on each of these bands now what this thing is trying to help you do sometimes you don't rely on it but it helps you um to decide what you want to do so it there will be these white lines on this on it uh there'll be white lines you see these white lines here they are showing you where your song is supposed to the energy in each of the bands is supposed to lie you understand so if i, I created this folder afro beats so that was what he was asking me how i could create my folder and how you create folders is you analyze professional sound now let me show you a quick um how to use this guy now if like i wanted to i have a song and maybe let me say for example it's close to um a whiskey song or an omalay song i'll use that as my reference so what i'll do is i'll come here y you see create target from audio file like if i want my song to have the same kind of energy and the same kind of sound with a professionally mastered song i'm using as my reference i'll just come here and create target from audio then it will take me to my desktop to my computer then i will look for the song i'm looking for now let me say i want to use um hope i'm um, not doing oh, i will not play the song because of copyright let me say i want to use um bona boy monsters you made now once i click it you see it will analyze the monsters you made and create the bands according to what how they mastered monsters you made now you see it changed it gave me like a, a whole lot for, for the lows and then um, they kind of compressed their low me that's what i'm understanding in their own song 
then there is dynamics in the high mids and there is um the highs are not too just high but there is a little bit more dynamic so that's what i'm understanding from here so anytime I, if i play my sound my sound the lines should if i'm if this is my target reference it should um fall in between these like these um bars up and down you understand my lines should be there you understand so if if maybe this is my target and uh, is not there what it's telling me is i i should go to the low mid and boost it with an eq you know understand so that's the guide that is that if you have ozone ozone plugins you could easily come here had it been you you've loaded an eq or any plugin from ozone once you come to source you will see those plugins and you will just control those plugins directly from your tonal balance control but well, that's um, a different stuff altogether so now you could see let me go back to my afro beat uh, uh, you could see uh what is it called if you want to see more details like you want to see more details you go to this one is just for broad um, um analyzing if you want to see more dis details like from the beginning of the frequency down to the highest you just go to find it will give you a slope then you'll now be seeing where the energies of each of the frequencies are lying so that's you see where they are being distributed individually on their own so um, what i'm understanding in this mix and uh, that i loaded is that there is um around the 600 is very low compared to um the folder that i created with this you understand so but that's just by the way or there's another way to do this stuff and that's the way i do 99 percent of the time i save myself time i what i'll do is uh i i selected um afro beat sounds like uh, m professional afro beat from our top guys that are popping at the moment i put them in one particular folder in my system then i came to this um analyzer came here now create target from folder then i now it to ask me for the folder then i will, I will highlight let me use uh, this ninja folder for example it will analyze but all the songs in that folder all the songs how it was mastered and now create a graph on how those songs are so i, I sampled i put like popping afro beats um songs in in a folder then i press that it, it analyzed and then um, i saved it once you analyze you see this place will now be highlighted save custom as once you click save you name you put the name you want so anytime you want to you open up your um tonal balance control you see those presets you saved here so you see them here and you easily just use them so if um maybe i want to do like um a uh, uh hip hop that he has um good preset that it comes with reggae and the rest of that but if there is um, a genre of music or in time once afrobeat sound starts to change i'll or i'll just sample um the current um topping sounds and you know reanalyze and create it so that's how easy to use um and at least analyze it's very simple and straightforward so guys if you haven't subscribed do so now because this this channel drops amazing content you understand just subscribe like and um, put on on the comment section the kind of video you want to see although i'm um, i posted something earlier in the community and uh, most of you guys voted that i should do a series so i'm actually working on a, a series from the beat of a particular song to the vocals in the song the mixing of the vocals and the mastering so it's gonna be it's gonna be a very interesting series from maybe part one to episode nine i don't know how long it's gonna be but stay subscribed hit this the bell notification button so that anytime i post stuff you're gonna be alerted and you you'll be the, among the first to see it. also go to the channel you see amazing amazing content that will that will inspire you to do something understand vicky melody see you next time and stay creative Bye-bye.